G'day, I'm Rory McLean and welcome to Silverton Down Under in Australia. This is just an intro to the videos that I do. The animation like the bell working on the loco and the taboo's coming along here with a little guy breaking and waving his lantern. These are the effects that you can do on your, uh, on your models with the advanced technology that's around there. So there's um, things I can show and share through the YouTubes that uh, will help um, give you ideas in your own modeling. I hope you enjoy. It's a lot of fun. Cheers. Classification marker lights are the lights that go on the front of the locomotive. It's to uh, signify second section following. Adding these into a uh, locomotive is not that hard using surface mount LEDs. And I'll show you how we can turn them on and off through a decoder and how we're actually drilling them out and fitting the LEDs. Okay, let's talk about the class markers in uh, HO scale that are available to us. Precision scale, Cal scale, and there's some old Chemtron ones here. These are all brass castings that uh, some of them will need to be drilled out so that we can get the tiny surface mount LEDs, which I've uh, done on other videos. You can see these little tiny things here. You get two or three on a pinhead, but we can sold it to those, or if you're not, you can uh, always buy them from uh, various uh, places on the web. I'm going to start drilling now with a uh, 0.9 millimetre drill. Okay, we've drilled the base, so we've drilled the hole up the base. Now we need to drill the portholes out for the actual lights. Just drilling through till we meet that hole that we've drilled up the inside. There we go, we're through. One more hole to drill, which will be the front hole. Having the right tools and doing it this way makes life easy. There we go. Okay, we've drilled out the uh, brass marker lamp. Now we're going to put an 0401. This, uh, I've soldered the wires onto this. I've done other videos on soldering surface mount LEDs. What we've got to do is we've got to put some insulation around the um, around this to stop it from contacting the brass body which in the brass body of course is actually going to go into a brass loco maybe so what we're doing is we're going to put a tiny piece of glue onto the surface mount lead that'll do and if we do that once or twice we've got the insulation is going to cover it there then using uh, Arlene's clear tacky glue I just put a piece on the end over the um, over the lead resin package as well you're not going to short anything out because we've already super glued that remember now we're going to insert it inside and there it is there's your marker now I've just got that clamp there we just leave that and uh, let it dry for um, for about four hours and she'll be right to um, paint and uh, add on to the loco